Hi friends and welcome to Crumbs from Charad. Did you ever wonder why is the Lord's Prayer called the Lord's Prayer? Today's Mass reading, Jesus was praying and when he ceased, one of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray as John taught his disciples. And he said to them, When you pray, say, Father, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, give us each day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins as we ourselves forgive everyone who is indebted to us and lead us not into temptation. The Lord's Prayer is found in two Gospels, in Luke's Gospel and in Matthew's. Matthew's Gospel we find the version that we are more familiar with. In Luke's Gospel we see that Jesus gives us the Lord's Prayer in answer to disciples asking the Lord how to pray. Now why is it called the Lord's Prayer? Obviously because given to us by the Lord. But more importantly, remember he was in prayer and the disciples came up to him like the, the disciples or the rabbi would go up to the rabbi and ask them, teach us to pray. And the rabbi would teach them his own method of praying. So when we are praying the Lord's Prayer, we are praying the very way Jesus prayed. It's not just words, but they are points of prayers. Each of the points given there is to be taken as a prayer and to reflect upon it. And that's why it is called the Lord's Prayer. In the early church, we are told that the early Christians prayed this prayer three times a day, morning, afternoon and night. In the monastic tradition, we are told, while the monks would pray the Psalms, there were some monks who didn't know how to read. So what would they do? They would pray the Lord's Prayer. There are 150 Psalms, so 150 times they prayed the Lord's Prayer. Now the Lord's Prayer has 55 words, but in those 55 words, we have the summary of the whole Gospel. This is what the Catechism of the Catholic Church says. The Lord's Prayer is truly the summary of the whole Gospel, the most perfect of prayers. It is at the center of the Scriptures. And therefore, while you can use the Lord's Prayer in your prayer, taking each as a point of a prayer, but it's also beautiful to start your meetings, your activities and anything you do with the Lord's Prayer. Because I said it's a summary of the whole Gospels. In other words, here you have something that helps you to have set up your mind, set up your heart before you start an activity. So get in the habit. Whenever you start some activity or a meeting, pray the Lord's Prayer. But now something for you to think about. Which is the word or sentence in the Lord's Prayer that you like best of all? And may Almighty God bless you and your families, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Have a wonderful day with Jesus.